Hi, my name is Emmy from 88 He's to Cure. We made this video in support for Stop Asian Hate. We hope you enjoy our performances and valuable information that we will share in this video. The United States of America is not unfamiliar with Asian discrimination. Between the 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act and the formation of Japanese internment camps during the Second World War, there are numerous examples of anti-Asian racism occurring within the United States. And in 2020, the popularization of derogatory terms like Kung Flu signify a new wave of discrimination towards all Asian Americans. Statistics will tell a similar story. The Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism found that the national average of attacks against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, or AAPIs for short, had increased by 150% in response to the wrongful blaming of Asian Americans as the cause of the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, New York City alone saw an 833% increase in hate crimes committed against AAPIs between 2019 and 2020. And as recently as March 18th, a 75-year-old Asian woman in San Francisco, California, was attacked in an unprovoked assault.
Asian American and Pacific Islander hate and discrimination have recently become more prevalent, but these factors have been a part of our communities and our lives for more than just the past few months. Many of us have endured name calling and harassment as a result of our ethnicity, and this issue has only increased in magnitude with the rise of the COVID-19 pandemic. We often receive unsolicited anti-Asian sentiments about the pandemic, with many pinning the issue on our community. We hope that we can use our platform as part of 88 Keys to Cure to help raise awareness and support for the anti-AAPI hate cause by conducting fundraisers and coming together as a community to combat this issue. So, what can you do to help? Well, there are a variety of charities and organizations that are currently working to combat this onslaught of Asian American hate. Um, here are a couple that we would suggest. So, first of all, the Asian Americans Advancing Justice, or AAJC, is an organization built around fighting for the preservation of equal protection of Asian American rights um, in law and also preserving Asian cultural roots. Um, another great organization is the Asian Mental Health Collective, which puts a larger focus on the mental health problems in Asian American communities, um, supplying therapy and safe spaces for those who are negatively affected by these uh, hate crimes. Um, lastly, if you don't know what to donate to, you can always donate to the AAPI Community Fund on GoFundMe. Um, it's a more general fundraiser and all money is divided among a variety of organizations that are dedicated to supporting Asian Americans. Um, links to all of these organizations will be in the descriptions below if you would like to donate. During a time when the Asian American community is vulnerable to racism and hate crimes, it's important for society to come together to stand up to that violence. Whether you're Asian or not, learning how to be an ally to those around you can make a huge difference. Arguably, the most important thing you can do is to educate yourself. Take time to read the news, research the history of discrimination against Asian Americans, and explore different organizations and resources you can use to help. Another important step in being an ally is to check in on others. If you have friends, family, neighbors who are Asian American, take some time to check in on them and let them know that they have your support. A simple check-in fosters an environment of inclusivity and feelings of safety. And lastly, Use your voice to speak out against hate crimes, whether it be attending protests, posting on social media, or donating to organizations, you have the power to create change. 88 Keys to Cure thanks you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found this video informative and we encourage each and every one of you to support the Asian American community in any way possible. Any action, big or small, is greatly appreciated and a step towards the fight for justice. Remember, change starts with you. Thank you.